Stevie Nicks, the queen of rock, has been a one-of-a-kind performer ever since reinvigorating Fleetwood Mac in the mid-70s, and her continued work with that band and as a solo artist has only cemented her legacy and grown her legend. Fortunately for music fans, Nicks likes to share her wisdom these days, and always makes for a good interview. In Stevie Nicks' high school yearbook photo, you can already see the future rock star in the making. After her 1966 graduation, she let her hair down and the legend of Stevie Nicks began to take shape. Stevie Nicks created a fashion sense based on hippie sensibility, rejecting dull and conformist clothing. She brought taste and judgment into the picture, assembling outfits that expressed countercultural freedom without looking like she'd just come from a rummage sale. Nick's style never really goes out of fashion, but it does experience surges in popularity. Stevie Nicks and Lindsay Buckingham were in a relationship before Fleetwood Mac, releasing an album as Buckingham Nicks. Their self-titled LP, released in 1973, is most memorable for its cover photo. Buckingham wanted a nude photo of them, and was said to have flown into a rage when Nicks initially refused. Eventually, he got his way, but their relationship suffered as Nicks' success overshadowed his. The album cover photo may look great, but the story behind it is not so great. Nix revealed that she was actually crying during the photo shoot, and her bandmate Lindsay was mad at her for it. Stevie Nicks and Lindsay Buckingham joined Fleetwood Mac in the early 70s, putting their stamp on the band and changing it for the better. Nix believes Buckingham regrets joining Fleetwood Mac and wishes they had stayed together. Nix sang, Gold Dust Woman, on the 1977 Fleetwood Mac album Rumors and the take that made the album was reportedly recorded at 4 a.m. after a grueling studio recording session. During the recording, Nix had wrapped a black scarf around her head to get into character with her real emotions. The song included an electric harpsichord and sound effects of broken glass to accentuate Nix's vocals. Mick Fleetwood said that he used a hammer to break the glass and had to wear goggles and coveralls to protect himself from the flying shards. The gold dust mentioned in the lyrics was cocaine, a drug that Nix was starting to take, and would later become seriously addicted to. After a decade of using cocaine regularly, Nix began suffering from blackouts and extreme nasal drainage. After visiting a plastic surgeon she learned that she'd burned a hole in her nasal cartilage, although it wasn't from the cocaine. Nix explains that the hole was created by a solution of aspirin and water she would squirt up her nose in an attempt to cure her headaches. Aspirin is acidic, and eventually dissolved her nasal cartilage. Nix explained, I thought I was being the best most hygienic nurse ever. That really didn't help our irritability levels. Stevie Nicks had a distinctive voice that was raspy, sultry, and a touch mysterious. Her signature voice could lend itself to all types of songs and music, making her a lovely feminine presence in a male-dominated 1970s music scene. Nix always had a steady and confident command of her voice, singing from her soul and captivating her audiences, making fans feel like she was singing right to them. Since joining Fleetwood Mac, Stevie Nicks had a presence and mystique that surpassed her contributions to the group. 
Despite only singing lead vocals on three tracks on each album, she was the standout on Fleetwood Mac and Rumors. Rolling Stone magazine labeled her the reigning queen of rock and roll as she began her solo career in 1981. Stevie Nicks made sure she and Christine McVie were not left out of the boys' club and demanded to be treated with respect from the very beginning. She knew she had to be strong, tough, and intelligent in order to be taken seriously in the rock society. Stevie Nicks was a standout in Fleetwood Mac, not only for her mesmerizing presence but also as a prolific songwriter. Frustrated by limited space for her songs, she launched a successful solo career alongside her band. Tom Petty gave Stevie Nicks the song, Stop Dragging My Heart Around, which she credits for her solo success. She expressed her sadness that Tom is not here to enjoy her Hall of Fame induction with her. Stevie Nicks always wanted to be in a band, valuing the experience of being part of a team and a team player. She has been in Fleetwood Mac for so long that she understands how to not be the boss and be part of a team, which has helped to make her humble. Stevie Nicks collaborated with Prince on the song, Stand Back, and expressed her regret about never being able to perform it live with him. Despite his passing, she still feels his presence and talks to him before going on stage. Stevie Nicks admitted to keeping her personal life private, especially her relationships and friendships, preferring to maintain a mysterious persona as the Forbidden Queen. This approach has continued to shape her life. Stevie Nicks has stayed true to her romantic nature, which she believes is essential to her success as a poet. She has expressed that losing her romanticism would make her a less effective artist. Does art have a role in improving the world? Stevie Nicks believes in using art to bring light and hope to people's lives, rather than adding to the bitterness and anger. She emphasizes the importance of spreading hope and belief in a positive future through her music. Stevie Nicks was a captivating presence in the 1970s, with her unique fashion sense and mesmerizing vocals. In these rare photos, we get a glimpse of the enigmatic and alluring side of the iconic Fleetwood Mac singer. Los Angeles in the mid-70s was a musical hotbed with its own vibe, including elements of country rock, folk rock, and leftover psychedelia. Fleetwood Mac was a British group, but when Nicks and Buckingham joined, they immediately put a Californian stamp on the band's sound. In her looks, stage presence, style, Nicks was a poster girl for the mystique of Southern California. Stevie Nicks' iconic style is still celebrated today, and rare candid photos of her offer a unique glimpse into the groovy era. At 70 years old, Stevie Nicks was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame for the second time, making her the first woman to be inducted twice. She also led a Lindsay Buckingham-less Fleetwood Mac on a tour across the world throughout 2019.
Stevie Nicks is known for always wearing a scarf, and she even keeps them in a temperature-controlled storage she calls her shawl vault. She has thousands of shawls saved in huge red cases from Fleetwood Mac, and she plans to give them away to her goddaughters and nieces. Dating in the modern era is a nightmare. Stevie Nicks is despondent over the way the internet has sapped romance from our lives, making it hard for people to find love these days. Nicks expressed her pride in Harry Styles for choosing to make a rock and roll record instead of a pop record, stating that he is like Mick Fleetwood and her love child and that she adopted him as the son she never had. Throughout the years, Stevie Nicks has been constantly writing music, even though she may not release as much material now. She has mentioned that she still writes poems, including one about Game of Thrones and another about Anthony Bourdain. Stevie Nicks can still do the splits and plans on doing them on stage until she drops. At 70, her voice hasn't changed and she's determined to keep performing. In an interview with The New Yorker, Nix revealed that she has been keeping a journal since her early days with Fleetwood Mac, but she prefers not to read old entries so she can focus on the future. She explained that she writes poetry on the left side of the page, which she often uses for songs. According to an interview with The New Yorker, Nix revealed that in the early 80s, an ex-husband accidentally sold a suitcase filled with cassette tape demos. She thought the songs were lost forever, but fans who found out about it bought them and sent them back to her. Instead of taking it easy, Nix continues to perform and satisfy her fans. She started a solo tour in September 2022 and shows no signs of stopping.